Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to build the most epic solo and we're going to use the most epic song to play it over and look at the two most epic guitar players you're ever going to find. We're going to look at the solo of Mark Ledieri, who you may have heard of from Snarky Puppy, and the solo from Kyle Bolden, who you may not have heard of, but he is one bad mother who's been on the scene way longer and he's played with people who you may have heard of, like Stevie Wonder. So let's look at these two solos and look at the similarities and take out five ideas that they both use that are just going to make you the most tastiest and dynamic and exciting soloist over an epic song like Purple Rain. Now the first thing that I notice when I see both these cats playing over the solo is they both stick in this main pentatonic pattern that we all love. It's just so simple and they take it either from down here in this octave in B flat major or G minor. The song's in B flat major, but you could think of this scale and this shape as G minor if you want to, if that's easier. So you play it up here, or just the same shape, just an octave higher. A lot of their time is just spent in there, that's where a lot of the licks come from. So don't be afraid to stick in there and just try and draw out the best ideas that you can get from those patterns and don't worry about the rest of the neck if you don't have it down yet. Make the best out of those simple patterns and you're golden. So the very first one is super simple and just epic as hell. The double stop bend. And of course it sounds nice to resolve on the root note this B flat. And what we really want to do is keep our pinky down and we bend with our ring finger up a whole step. Simple as that. Now after your double stop, the next cool thing to do is you're playing your solo, you're playing your couple little melodic parts maybe, building it. And then to give it that little extra edge, that little bit of bite, throw in your blues lick. Give it that little bit of bluesy edge. Check out how they do it. So we could break this up in three parts. First part, I'm going to bar my index finger on the 3rd fret. And do a half bend on the G string. And back down. That's part 1. Second part. Starts off similar. those two parts together and the last part just pre-bend three times bring it down one two slow and to give it another little guitar moment bring out that whammy you could use it a little bit more crazy you now when Kyle Bolden plays with his whammy he's got more of a R&B soul style so he really hits that whammy and uses that as a pretty heavy vibrato, which is fantastic. It really adds the energy. And when Mark Lettieri uses it, he's got a little bit more of a, a, a lead sense where he's using it more melodically, which is also pretty dope too. So those are two different approaches of the whammy bar, but they both use it and it brings out 
just a much more expressive nature to that moment in the solo. And for our fourth moment, as we're building, building, adding more and more dynamics, then there's a moment when we just want to shred it up and just spit out those notes and bring it home. And as crazy as it sounds, like it just sounds like eye popping when they play really fast, but it's really quite simple if you break it down. Most of it is just a pentatonic scale going down. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of variation, maybe a little bit of blues, but look at the way that they both do it. It's just that pentatonic scale, that same pattern, just going down the neck. And the more and more you do it, when you get comfortable with it, it's pretty easy to do. And it's just a moment that you could bring out, that fast little moment that sounds cool and it can lead into another moment. And our number five moment to bring out in our epic solo? Well, we have two options. We could bring out the Kyle Bolden moment where he shreds out the open string lick, or we could try a more melodic moment that Mark Lettieri brings out with the octaves. these octaves you want to see the G minor scale on the A string. Or B major. Mute just those octaves, so mute all these other strings. So the next time you're about to play an epic solo, consider these five different ideas to make it more dynamic and interesting and just take cues from the masters and bring in some of their licks because you know they got them from someone else and just keep that tradition going for those who sound great and for you to sound great too. If you want to see every single one of these licks broken down and tabbed out, check out my Patreon in the link below. It'll have all that, including more exclusive videos and lessons and tabs for everything, backing tracks and all that jazz. And I want to thank all my supporters already for the support. And I'm going to keep busting out more stuff. Thanks to you guys. And other than that, you can hit subscribe and like if you dig what's going on, if you want to support just like that. Thanks to everyone. Peace. Keep on jamming. Stay nasty. And the